Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to add a POP3 email account to your Gmail. So your POP3 email is the email you are given by your ISP, um, like Big Pond or um, IINet. That's the email, you'll always get an email address when you sign up for your internet. And if you want to be able to check it, this is a great way to do it through Gmail. So I've just logged into a Gmail account. So the first step is to go up here to Options. Let's click that. Click on Mail Settings. Now you just go over here to Accounts and Import. And down here it says Check Mail using POP3. So yeah, you just click on here, add POP3 email account. So the first step is to type in your email address. I'm just going to use this one. Click on next. Now you need to type in your username and password. That will be given to you by your ISP. So if you don't know it, you might need to ring them up. In my case, I know it. That's the email address and that's the password. Now you can tick here if you want to leave a copy of the messages on the server. If you do that, um, it means that you'll get your emails, but they'll also stay um, on the server. They'll stay with your ISP. So generally I'd say probably not a good idea because your ISP won't have much space and it won't take you long before you fill it up. So just don't leave that unticked. I would label the messages. So when you get a message from your ISP you'll know it's come from your ISP because it's got a particular label. It defaults to that account name. I don't really like that. So I'm going to change that and I'll type in IINET, my ISP's name. Uh, I've already got it. I'll just use it. And add account. So that's done. At that point, if you had some problem with your username and password or with that POP3 server, it'd tell you there's a problem and you have to go back and fix it. But luckily here it's worked for me. Now you can also set it up to send mail um, using that address. So if you do want to use this address, say you're adding this account to your Gmail, but you actually still want to be able to send as send from that account. So I, maybe I want to send an email that comes from this address. Um, I don't know because I've I've already I'm, I'm using that. I don't really want to change. I'm just using Gmail to check my emails, but I don't actually want to use the Gmail address. So then I'd say yes, and I can do that now. I click next. Your name will come up there if that's how you'd like um, emails to appear. Then leave that as that and click next. I've always just said that send through Gmail. It says it's easier to set up and I believe it. Um, click next. And the last step, it's going to send a verification email to that email address. And once you click on the email, you'll have finished. So I'm going to send the verification now. Now there'll be a code in that email that comes. I could type that code in here or I could just um, click on the link in the email. So I'll show you. I'll actually click across now to the email. So this is the email that's come in and as you can see yeah, you've requested to add that email address. There's that code I could have typed in or I can just click on this link. So if I click that, success. So there you go, that's how you add a POP3 account to your Gmail. Thanks for listening.